and take two. Uh, I'm fixing to hook up a hydrogen booster just for testing. It's got a set of plates, actually 16 of them, inside of a PVC case. You can see at the top are just a positive and negative electrical connection along with a vent. Uh, the vent is where the hydrogen and oxygen gas will come out. Connected through a hose going into just a container of just clean fresh water. Only reason for this is just to show the bubbles coming out to show that it is producing. I'm going to be running the system off of a regular battery charger. You can see it's set at the 2 amp setting on the lowest setting. So let's start. Take the charger. Plug it in. This probably is not the safest way to do this. You probably want to plug the charger in after this is hooked up. But going from a cold cell, plugged in, we'll give it just a moment. You can see the water being pushed out of the hose. And we are producing. And this is out of a cold cell. It's probably 68 degrees outside, so the water is not hot at all. And you can see it's just bubbling away. It's been my experience that the longer these cells run, the more hydrogen they produce. So the longer this runs, the higher the output should go. I'm going to take our charger and go up to the next setting. And as soon as I hit the switch to go up to the 10 amp setting, you see instantly the amount of hydrogen produced changes. If I go to 50 amp setting, you can see it's producing a lot. And I just turned it back down to two. Now I am, for whatever reason, producing quite a bit of soap suds out of this mixture. That's something that'll have to be looked at. But it is a proof of concept. It is working. Something I noticed as I was unhooking the cell, even though I have got a large output, we can see I just hooked it up and the, the bubbles are picking up. These are a lot of those soap suds coming out of it. I'm going to turn the production rate up. I'm going to turn the battery charger back up to 50 amp setting. You can see how fast the suds are coming out. Well, whenever we turn the unit off, it's all it's back down to the 2 amp setting. I have just disconnected it. It's disconnected now. This is just purely pressure that's still built up in the cell pushing these suds and bubbles out. The cell is still cold to the touch. It's only been running for what, just a couple minutes. And it's still producing enough pressure. It still has enough residual pressure that it's slowly moving those soap suds out and slowly pushing them out. And that, that's after power has been removed from it. So it's actually continuing production after power has been taken off. The same charger. We've still got it set on the 2 amp setting. It's been roughly 30 minutes. The bubbles that are the foam that we had earlier, the suds we had, have gone. You can see we've still got a good output. If we check temperatures, 63.8 is what the temperature is of the cold water. The cell is at 88 degrees. It is getting warm, but it's still not hot. Like I said, that's after about 30 minutes of use. Uh, we'll just check something around. 67.2 is what the temperature is, just of, of 66, 67 degrees is what we've got around.
temperature at several different spots. We're still maintaining consistent output. We will continue to let it run and see how it does later. Several hours have passed and it's gotten dark out here. You can see clearly we've still got plenty of output. Everything's still hooked up just like it was before. We're still at our 2 amp setting. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it but the temperature of the cell has gone up. Uh, it is at 124.3 degrees right now, which, like I said, it's, it's been running for probably two hours consistently. The output at two amps has increased as the temperature has increased. but it does seem to be doing good.